This week's video, 10 real estate negotiation tips for buyers, how to negotiate price down, and we are starting right now. Be sure to stay tuned until tip 10, how to save yourself an entire month's mortgage. Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Journey and I'm a realtor and buyer specialist in Charlottesville, Virginia. And today I want to talk to you about 10 negotiation tips that have helped save my buyers money when purchasing their home. Tip number one. Ask your real estate agent what the average sale price to original list price ratio in your area is. Here in Charlottesville, it's about 97%, which means that sellers are aware they may have to come down on their home price about 3%. So if the home is listed at $200,000, that means the sellers know they may have to come down about $6,000 to $194,000. Always negotiate with this in mind. If you think the seller is willing to settle at $194,000, Offer $190,000 and see if they'll meet you in the middle. Tip number two. Negotiate personal property. Furniture, accessories, lawnmowers, if there's a lot of yard maintenance. Maybe there's an island in the kitchen that you'd like to have that isn't attached. Ask for that. Tip number three. In the state of Virginia, the seller is responsible for septic inspection. Typically, they inspect it by doing a walkover of the drain field. If this is important to you, negotiate that the seller have the septic pumped and inspected. Tip number four. Nego negotiate a survey. If there isn't a recent survey of the property, have the seller get one done before closing. Tip number five. Negotiate a home warranty into the deal. A home warranty is a one year service agreement that covers the repair or replacement of many major home system components and appliances that typically break down over time due to normal wear and tear. This could potentially save you thousands of dollars. Tip number six. negotiate a closing cost credit to cover closing costs. The benefit of the credit comes when the buyer needs to bring money to the closing table. If the closing costs are covered by the credit, the buyer only needs to bring the down payment. However, lenders have restrictions on how much sellers can credit to buyers at closing. The amount allowed to cover closing costs varies with the lender, but here in Virginia, it's usually around 3% of the purchase price. So if it were a $200,000 home, the most amount of money you could ask for would be $6,000. Tip number seven. Write a contingency in the contract that states if the home doesn't appraise to value, that you can cancel the contract. A home appraisal is an unbiased report on the worth of a house in the fair market performed by a trained and licensed individual. Appraisals are needed to ensure the home buyer, the home seller, and the mortgage lender receive the accurate and true value of the real estate in question. Tip number eight. After the home inspection is complete, Negotiate repairs. Tip number nine, neg negotiate a house cleaning. More than just broom clean, get the home professionally clean before closing. Tip number 10, you can, you can save yourself an entire month's mortgage by negotiating the settlement date to the beginning of the month. If you close on October 1st, your payment won't be due until December 1st. If you close on October 30th, your first mortgage is still due on December 1st. 
So try and always negotiate your settlement date to be as close to the beginning of the month as possible to maximize those free days. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I make a new video every Wednesday about Charlottesville and real estate. I made this video about my top five favorite hikes in Charlottesville. You can check it out by clicking on the link. See you next time.